Rugby and welcome to Forever Rugby on Forever Sports. For today, URC Round 7, Five Things Learn. A bit of a time to take a little bit of reflection, really, about the URC round that was and the URC that is sort of starting to shape up. Uh, I think this could be the best season yet, actually, in terms of so many different teams competing, uh, so many a couple of surprise packages and a couple of teams who just haven't really rocked up yet so far this season. I'm looking at you, Sharks, because, yeah, we all know what an issue that has already been so far this season. But uh, yeah, basically going to be decent. Some of my takeaways for the, uh, the 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 weekend and that we just saw. Let me know what yours were. Obviously, everybody takes different things out of uh, what they watch. So I'm very interested to see what your sort of opinions and, and what you thought of the weekend and how they differ from maybe what I noticed. And uh, that's what my sort of favorite part about these sort of videos are. Before we do through some of the five things that I learned, uh, please do smash a like on the video. Please do subscribe to the channel as well. Well, let's get into it, shall we? Number one, Bulls are the real deal. I mean, I think we kind of knew this to a certain degree, but wow, what a performance this weekend. And this Bulls side's only going to get better, aren't they? I mean, missing Marcel could see a real nook here, um, you know, to 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 name sort of two uh, major players. Uh, still a lot of players that could come back into the side. I mean, Henry Inman, for example, we haven't even seen yet. Um, I think Jakob van der Volt, for example, you know, off the bench, which I thought was a, it was a, it was an interesting call. Jan Kuss now one of the best games I've seen him play uh, in a while. So there's still plenty of players uh, that can come in. You know, Jan and Kovala, for example, also not involved this weekend, and yet absolutely blowing away uh, the Sharks. And uh, I tell you what, also for me, the biggest thing and one of the reasons that I think there's a lot of reason to be excited um, about this bull side is because the defense took a step forward this past weekend. Now maybe you are a certain amount of that Sharks attack is maybe a bit blunt. But um, the Bulls are improving week in, week out, and currently sit third in the table very, very um, deservedly. Uh, if you look at number two, is the Sharks' season over? Well, it sounds very dramatic to say so, but we are almost halfway through the regular URC season, and they sit with just one out of seven victories. Um, you know, the top eight currently sit, or the eighth place currently sit at 18 points. The Sharks currently, uh, sorry, yeah, 19 points is where the number eight side connect currently are. They're tied with lines uh, with 19 points. Sharks currently set 12 points behind them after just seven games. And uh, I don't see them going and winning all the rest of their games, for example. So, yeah, I mean, they've got to try and find their way up to sort of 35, 40 points, don't they, to try and, and make, you know, playoffs. And they're running out of games to, to get there. So, yeah, I think that this season... Maybe it's too early to say for, for, for certain, but um, I'll tell you, it would be an absolutely huge effort if they were to try and get uh, to the playoffs. And number three, Stormers get out the rustiness, right? So it wasn't maybe the best performance from a clinical point of view. Um, they could have scored far more tries against Zebra, um, but integrated a lot of players back into the side. And it was good to see, you know, Warwick Alain, Damien Willems, uh, your Dion Fries, your Hatiba Diamandis, for example, uh, all sort of coming back and playing with each other and looking really good. I think that's the main thing. I think they're going into the Champions Cup now where it sounds like they will be resting uh, their side for the first game and really targeting that lower shell game uh, just because of the simple the travel logistics. Uh, but I thought that uh, it was it was the kind of game they almost needed to a certain degree where they could afford to maybe not be at their most clinical and not be at their best and still pretty comfortably win. And uh, a, a couple of hard games in the road, it was nice, I think, for them to sort of get back and start playing together as a more settled first team, I suppose, to a certain degree. And, and to get that game out of the way. Number four, Leinster show their metal. I'll tell you what, this Leinster side, I think, are going to be the team to beat this season. Um, it's far too early to say that Jock, you know, has had a big effect on them, but I think he is going to. Uh, he obviously did come in this past weekend and uh, Leinster defeated Connacht. Um, but I do think we're going to start to see the Jock, you know, effect in the next month or two, and I think he'll only make them better. That's the thing. This Leinster side is already so good, and he's a coach that will make them that little bit better. And I don't know how much better they can get, to be honest, but what they can, he will be able to do. And I think that's what's going to be very exciting if you are a, a Leinster fan. And then finally, number five, the URC title, too hard to call. Every single week, I'm looking at a different um, team that I'm going, wow, hello. Um, you know, I think the Bulls this past weekend, um, but also Leinster beating Connacht, which, you know, they've not always had the best time trying to beat them away from home. Uh, in Munster, you know, coming across and beating a Glasgow Warriors side, which was, you know, five wins out of six, for example. That was a bit of a statement. Um, even Edinburgh going and beating Ulster, who had been had quite a good start to the season. And at home, 
or so away from Edinburgh. So I, I think that we're into a very exciting URC season where a couple of teams could surprise us. I think Glasgow Warriors have established themselves, themselves as genuine contenders. I think the Bulls are going to be out there. So I don't think it's like in the past couple of seasons where it's about, you know, the team that beats Lenser could probably will probably win it. Um, and I don't think it's as easy to say that, you know, Munster are going to go back to back or Stormers, for example, they're sitting in 10th. So that makes it very exciting. Anyway, those are my takeaways. What were yours? Let me know down in the comments below. Smash like on the video. Subscribe to the channel as well. Thank you very much for watching. My name is Steve. I'll chat to you soon.